Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is gonna be probably part four of the Unranked Master series. We are currently, as you can see in the top left, we are currently gold two. Uh, how much LP? 19 LP, 31 0, 100 win rate. I think last video we left off at silver two or silver one. So we've played roughly about six games off or off YouTube. All these games are being streamed on Twitch, but this game specifically is actually off Twitch. Will be only on YouTube. So if there's no Twitch chat. I'll just be commenting over the game, and hopefully we win. Hopefully we keep our hundred percent win rate this game and don't lose it. If we lose it, I'll be very sad. Not sure the MMR we're playing in. I assume platinum. Okay, roughly platinum game. So we'll see how it goes. We're against Echo matchup. Pretty easy. I didn't realize our comp, but we're actually 4 AP. 4 AP into a Nasus, so this guy's gonna be pretty hard to kill late game. Thankfully, we do have a Garen, so hopefully he can kind of deal with him and ultimate kill him. On the bright side, we have a lot of utility, so. If I get ahead, my team can set me up to plays with Daisy. With Seraphine or Connolt. Just my audio for a second. It's standard full clear this game. Gotta scout our lanes to see what's going on. Nothing too important. Pretty slow. Slow lane for everyone. Echo usually can full, either full clear or level 3 gank. I think it's usually common to full clear on Echo. Unless you can have really good level 3. Just because Echo scales pretty well mid late game. He is running the new Dark Harvest, which I've tried on Ivern, and honestly, it's still pretty bad. Aerie still kind of out damages in the early mid game. I can definitely see it being Gun Echo. Okay, full clear completed. So I've not seen Echo yet. This guy's really low though. You can actually just dive him here. Dive him and it will make him lose this wave. Alright, good stuff. I take the tower for him. Well played, Mr. Garen. I'm gonna ping. I don't know where Echo is, but I'm gonna ping Echo's bot because I should have top and he is bot. A little bit slow on that ping. I should have pinged earlier, but. I wasn't sure if Echo would show for that tower dive. I could have pinged earlier though, that's my fault. Especially since Garen's proxying, I should have known Echo's bot. Echo's giving up crap because we have a block to defend us. Actually, maybe look here. Really good, Seraphini. Nice. That was actually a really good Seraphini by her. She had both of them. Damn, we could go get the crab. Just ping my gold. I don't want to fight right now. Now, normally people would recall here. Recalling is bad because my jungle's up, right? So I want to tap my camps before I recall here. Either tap and pick them up, or tap, recall, then pick up. I think I'll probably tap, smite this, and then pick up, just so the respawn timers start uh, ticking while I'm recalling buying items. 
Actually, we also have the information that Echo hasn't recalled yet. So either he has for clear his camps or he has to recall then clear. So I can actually not smite this using the information that I know he won't invade because of him having too much gold for either recalling or clearing his jungle camps. And I can use my smite to uh, smite Krugs and do a second full clear for free. So we will take both these, pick up this, my Krugs, and then recall. And since we're building AP, we'll buy Boots, Dark Seal, Aether Wisp, and the Amp Tome. And just let my team 90 of recall. Just because Rakan is looking for that play. Don't want to force anything with our lead. Be unfortunate we didn't get the kills, but that's okay. We have a lot of farm, and once we hit 6, we will snowball. I can't get to him in time. Actually, maybe I could have. This looks like it's going to grow on me. I definitely could have got to him, but I don't know if I save him. That's been unfortunate. I just had too much money there. I am a lot. I'm up quite a bit of XP though. I'm almost level 6. He's still level 4. And we can count by CS. He's 27, which means his uh his bot size is up. Oh, maybe not. Unmute their pings. Dragon takes way too long here. It's not worth it. Krugs, you're a boulder amongst Better to just kill their bot thing and then do dragon. Nice, we killed our bot plane. Where did that come from? Bot thing's still hanging dragon, but I killed their bot. See in that situation it's always worked to kill their bot over dragon. Because dragon has a or Ivor has a very slow dragon clear speed. So killing their bot lane there is just more value. But my bot really wanted that. But thankfully, I could 1v2 their bot lane, so it wasn't too much of a risk slash cost. Echo showed top lane, it's still top lane, which means his red buff is up and we can take. We only have one smite, so we can take the red. Have to unfortunately let Raptors um, leave there. We can also gank bot again once our, our ult is back up. We all have it very soon here. One day, I'll loot in one place and... So we'll pick up these. Oh, actually I missed my Q. Actually, it's too much of a risk of losing our top side trading. Because Echo can assume, if Echo's good, he assumes we took his bot side and goes to my top side. I don't think in this elo he is going to do that. But I'm going to secure my top side anyway, just in case if he does make that play. Because bot is definitely a free kill here, but I can also just guarantee my top side and look to dive Nasus. Saw Echo there, which means I was right. He didn't go for the play. He might have recalled. Hello. We just keep clearing. We are scaling very well. I wonder what adventure today has in store for all of us. That's why clearing is just so important. Nature just by so full clearing on repeat, I'm already double echo CS. I did. I didn't have to do anything fancy to get that lead. Okay, we look to kill Nasus here. Very well played. Good job, Mr. Darren. 
Alright, we are gonna buy our Magi's now. Just because we know we can keep snowballing with our lead. And then we'll buy this. Some haste. We're good to go. Nami no exhaust. Good chain. Gotcha, Mr. Q. Ooh, good side stuff. I did make sure flash. The angry dog. Close. And we know Echo's going to use Wolves. Daisy's still up, so let's go look for Invade here. I'm going to walk over here because I think he's going. Okay, very good kill. Daisy's up for 8 seconds. We're going to try and get an E offer. Super Kong get a lot close. I should have taken my Q there. I was a little bit worried, but I probably could have got that. All good. We she loses that wave there, which is really big. And we also get Echo's blue here. Can shield her Garen. See Echo over there. We raid call because we have Lich Bane, which is a huge power spike. Our, all our camps are up, but Lich Bane and Daisy's up soon, so we want to look to keep fighting. We're going to buy double amp tone for a Blackfire. A question that I get a lot is why Blackfire over Malignants? Since API from revolves around Daisy. And the thing is. Uh, Blackfire is roughly the same price as Malignant. It's 100 gold more. For 100 gold more, you're getting more AP. And Blackfire's effect is when you hit champions or monsters, you get 4% ability power. And since you stack a lot of AP on Ivern, that 4% actually adds to a very large amount. So you sh Blackfire is just always better. And the cooldown for the 20 haste, since you have Ultimate Hunter, is only um, by 5 seconds. So you reduce it by 5 seconds for a lot of damage in AP. Nice. Good stuff. Go and look for the Nami. Never mind. He's got an Asus. Can't have his E, so he just doesn't kill me. Alright, good kill. And with Lich Bane movement speed and Magi's movement speed, you can delay tier 2 boots. Delaying tier 2 boots is pretty decent. Just because you'd rather have damage. And like, I'm already almost 420 movement speed. I'm at almost 90 bonus MS with tier 1. So I'm not losing out too much on the mobility. Lose a little bit of haste, but the damage is a good trade offer. We're level 11, Echo's level 8. A huge uh, XP lead. Yeah. 
and try to run to get their bot lane time. They don't make it in time, but I think we can still clean them out. Clean out. At least get crap. Switch targets. Ah, oh, she TP to Daisy and saved her. It's a bit unfortunate. My Daisy kills her there, but she TP to it. It's gonna recall by her black sheen. She had bot tower. I got two thumbs and a sheen. No one expects us to be. No, Miss Cannon. Get free tower. Kill Nami. They're close to death cap, so you might just farm for death cap actually. Might as well get death cap instead if we have enough. Actually, we have inventory space for pink, but that's fine. Okay, we're 6.50 AP at 18 minutes. They're very strong. For more, every river reaches the ocean in its own. Watch out, Daisy Stampede. Stampede no yeah, half of both them. It's kind of weak for Baron, and then to see Baron spawn, Baron guarantees the win here.
Okay, we go to Baron now. Things aren't really helping me, but I should be able to finish in. Do we get red just to get Blackfire? Okay, good stuff. We can now look to end the game. And the reason why it synergizes as well too is that if I send Daisy into five people to E, all five people are afflicted by Blackfire, and I'm getting four percent from each champion hit. Which can be really good in team fights. They get a good halt. Pretty solid game. Alright, and that puts us off at gold 2, 57 LP, almost almost gold 1, and then we'll be at plant and pushing for emerald. 30k damage, pretty chill. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in part 5. Peace.